easy mind, easy life. Now, in this video, we're still talking about forgiveness. <laughs> surprise, surprise, because it is such a big topic. Now, what I'd like to know is, let me know in the comments what it is that you're finding difficult to forgive. What is it that you can't let go of? What is holding you back from? I forgive you. I'm done with feeling this way. <laughs> that was you, and I thank you for the experience, but I'm done. I want to try something different. I want to try something new now. I forgive you. What is stopping you from forgiving someone else? Really, really think about it. Yes, they caused you pain. Yes, they caused you grief. They caused you suffering. They caused you fear. Trauma. What else? It could be infinite list of things that have happened. But do you understand that in not understanding them, in not having the compassion of seeing the human being that is in that person that hurt you, Okay, so let's, let's make it a bigger thing now. So not just your parents, but that person that hurt you. Let's go with that. If you can't forgive that, it's because you're holding on to something. You're holding on to something. There's something you don't want to let go of. You know, for a lot of people, they seem to think that this other person, whether it was a parent or whoever, a partner sometimes, that they have the capacity of taking something away from you. I find that interesting. What did they take away? I'm waiting. <laughs> So, I really want you to sit with that today. Your, your pain, your anger maybe because you're, you feel that they've taken something away from you. But what? For some people, they feel their innocence was taken away. For some people, they feel their confidence, their self-esteem. Oh, you can look this. Again, infinite list, because everyone's different. So what may be important to some that has been taken away, for others may be something different. But make your list. What was taken from you? Because we're gonna circle back to this. So, I want you to remember now our conversation that we keep coming back to because it's the most important conversation. When you come into the world, when you are born, you are love. That's it. Nothing else. You are love. You are peace. You are joy. You are bliss. You are all of it. So, when all of this goes on, you are innocence. And all of this happens in your childhood. And you say they've taken it. Where'd they put it? Where'd it go? <laughs> Where is it? So, let me say that again. When you are born, you are love, you are joy, you are bliss and peace and innocence and you're all of it. So you have these experiences and you're sitting here angry because you feel like something's been taken away. You feel like you've been ripped off somehow. They've taken something from you. What is that? Mm. 
these things that you are when you are born, this beautiful love, this joy, this bliss, this peace, this innocence, it's still there inside of you. It doesn't go anywhere. It's the mind that tricks you into, oh, they took it from me. They took that away from me. They took it. The mind tricks you into that trap. All the while, inside of you, the love is still there in your heart. The love, the joy, the bliss, the innocence is still there in your heart. Because these things are what you are. It's not something you have. It's not something you come into the world, you're a baby, and you're given this suitcase. And in this suitcase that you get to carry with you everywhere, you have a thing called joy, and you have a thing called love, and you have a thing called peace. And as you're going through your childhood, these grown-ups go into that suitcase and they take it out. And what? You get to your adult years and that suitcase is empty. That's why it's not given to you that way. <laughs> because it's not outside of you. These beautiful things that a lot of people talk about, it's taken away from you. It's been sitting inside of you the whole time. It's your mind that makes you think. That, oh, they took that from me. It didn't go anywhere. Because these beautiful things are not outside of you. They're not in a suitcase that someone can just break into and take something out of. That's why you can never be broken. Do you see? You can never be broken. Your beautiful soul, your spirit inside of you is energy. Energy cannot be broken. It can't be destroyed. <laughs> your energy is intact inside of you. It's observing all of this. It's observing all these events that you've been through. It is here to observe and have these experiences. But it is, which is you, are, <laughs> you, the real you, inside. Not this one in this physical body. Remember we said this physical body is just a vessel. It's just something you're getting around in on this planet Earth. It's just something to get around in. You chose this body, so I want to get, I want to be in that body so I can, you know, do things on this planet. Because without this body, you can't have these experiences. You can't taste food. You can't feel the wind on your face. You can't feel the sun on your skin. You can't have all these lovely experiences without this vessel. That's what it's for. But it's not who you are. So today I really want you to think about that because a lot of times we become the victim because we feel like something's been taken from us, something's been taken away. But that is not possible. The same as when people go around saying they're broken. You can break a bone in your body, but it's like saying you can break water. You know, your energy inside of you, <laughs> it's like breaking light. You are this beautiful light energy inside. I've seen hundreds and hundreds now of these beautiful energies inside people. I've seen them. It's not something that you can break. It's not possible. They don't have bones. This beautiful, the spirit, the energy inside of you is a light energy. It can't be broken. It's impossible. Your arms can be broken. A bone in your arm or the bones in your legs of this vessel, of this physical body. But it's like watching your car break down. You know, your car breaks down, you take it to the mechanic to get it fixed. 
But you aren't your car. You just drive it to get around. Your body's the same. You're not your body. You just use it to get around, <laughs> to have these wonderful experiences. So I'd, I'd really like you to sit with that today, to make a list. If you are still in that place of something has been taken from you, make a list what could possibly be taken from you that has any value. Because for me, innocence is when you look at something and you're looking at it for the first time. And if you think about it, every butterfly that you look at now and every bird that you look at now and every everything in nature that you look at now, you're looking at it for the first time. Because that butterfly wasn't there 20 years ago when you were a child and you were looking at it. That's a new butterfly. That's an absolutely new one. The clouds that you look at in the sky weren't the same clouds that were there yesterday. They're new clouds that have been made just for you. The trees, each year they shed their leaves. So the following year they have new leaves for you. New leaves for you to look at. That's innocence. That's learning to be present in the moment and looking at things as if it's the first time because that's what children do. Or you're having your very first ice cream and you're enjoying it like it's the first ice cream you've ever had in your life. That's innocence. That's not something that's taken away. That's always inside of you. When you wake up to the spirit inside, when it starts to talk to you, when your heart inside of you starts talking to you, you will start to see the world with that innocence again. It can't help it. It knows that everything is new. That's not something you've seen before. We look at our children and we take them for granted. And my daughter now, she's 11. She's not the same as she was when she was two. Today, this morning when I saw her, she was new. It was a different child to the one I had five years ago. Her personality's changed. The way she talks has changed. The way she does her hair has changed. She's not the same, but a beautiful spirit inside. Yes, always, never changes, always the same. But her vessel that she's moving around in changes all the time. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'm hoping you're that one step closer to forgiveness and letting go. I love you guys. Bye for now.